It's too late for reconciliation on Beothic Lake. Beothic culture was wiped out by colonization in the 1800s, but residents around what was formerly known as Red Indian Lake say they're looking for the truth before places like this are washed into the water. So this is actually a real Beothic site where they had one of their mammatiques years ago. It's very important, but as you can see, it's very close to the edge of the lake, and that's, that's the concern right now. Fiona Humber is the mayor of nearby Millertown. She spent much of her term trying to fight coastal erosion. So you can really see the damage here, hey? You can really see all these trees. I mean, they weren't here last year. This is the effect of one, one year of high water. This isn't just a lake. It's also a hydroelectric reservoir. Its levels are controlled by Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro. Humber and others believe hydro is keeping the water too high and causing priceless damage. At high water in usually April or May, the, the water gets up as high as here. And last year I've, had, I've heard of people saying that there's actually been water coming into the site. So that would be a terrible loss. Lori McLean was one of the archaeologists who discovered this site near Millertown in 2016. It's one of the latest Beothic dwellings from the 1800s, likely built as the Beothic retreated inland to get away from Europeans. It's one of the last sites that hasn't been swept into the lake. On Beothic Lake, we have uh, 50 uh, historically documented Beothic structures, and we can account for two of them right now, archaeologically. In a statement, Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro says it believes the erosion on Beothic Lake is naturally occurring. It says water levels in the lake continue to be within the normal operating parameters and for the most part have remained at the same levels since 1995. But that doesn't sit well with Rick Noftel, who owns a cabin on the lake. He says the levels may not be getting higher, but that's not telling the full story. And they're saying the water levels, the, the lake is not really full. The water levels are not to their max. But if you look at the erosion, like uh, the lake is just getting bigger and it's holding more water. This is what Naftal's shoreline looks like when the water is low. And this is what it looks like in the spring when snow and ice melt and run into the lake. Naftal says it stays like this until midsummer when hydro opens the gates downstream. We get high water levels and you get to win with it. And it's like the Atlantic Ocean, it does a lot of damage. Naftal has lost plenty of shoreline in the 20 years he's owned this cabin, but he's afraid he's going to lose everything. Both Naftal and Humber believe the solution is in hydro's hands. They just hope the solution comes before it's too late. They have complete control of the water here. And I mean, all, our, all we're asking is that they, you know, don't keep it at the highest that they can for as long as they can. Ryan Cook, CBC News, Beothic Lake.